Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the properties of proportion. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So later on class, we'll be answering this type of question. Use the properties of proportion to find the equivalent. And we will give more examples class. So before answering this one is you need to master the properties of proportion. Alright, so once again, in proportion, we do have what we call the means and the extremes. And in proportion, the product of the means, so when you multiply B and C, it should be equal to the product of extremes. It should be equal when you multiply A and D. So B times C is equal to A times D. A and D are the extremes, B and C are the means. So once again, you can write this one into fraction, A over B is equal to C over D. And A and D, so A and D, these are the extremes. And then, B and C, those are the means. Okay, these are the means. Alright, so, in cross-multiplication property, the first property, if W over X is equal to Y over Z, then WZ is equal to XY. So, it means that you just simply do the cross-multiplication test. So, simply cross-multiply W times Z. That's why you have WZ, then X times Y. That's why you have XY. Let's give an example. So what if you have 3 over 5 is equal to 6 over 10? So how to apply the cross-multiplication property? That's correct. You simply do the cross-multiplication. So cross-multiply. So this will be 3 times 10 is equal to, simply cross-multiply, that would be 5 times 6. That's it. That's the equation there. Simply do the cross multiplication. So if you multiply this one, of course, it will be the same answer because the product of the means is equal to the product of extreme. Let's multiply 3 times 10 or 3 times 10, that is 30, is equal to 5 times 6, that is 30. Alright, that's true for the cross multiplication property. 30 is equal to 30. Is it right for the cross multiplication property? Just simply do the cross multiplication. Alright, let's have number two example, the alternation property. So, if W over X is equal to Y over Z, then W over Y is equal to X over Z, or Z over X is equal to Y over W. Now, in the alternation property class, we can interchange the means or the extremes. So, once again, this is our original equation. We just simply interchange X and Y. Okay, and the second part, simply interchange X and Y, and then simply copy W and Z. So we just simply interchange the means, X and Y, then simply copy W, Z. Or you can interchange the extremes, W and then Z, then simply copy X and Y. So interchange this one, Z and W, then simply copy X and Y. And you will get the same answer class with regards to its proportion. Let's give an example later on. Now, once again, always remember this one class that in the alternation property, you can interchange the means or you can interchange the extremes. One at a time class. You cannot interchange both means and extremes at the same time. It should be one at a time class. Always remember that one. Let's give an example class for you to really understand this one. What if we have 2 over 5 is equals to 6 over 15? So, how will you translate this one into this equation? So, we can interchange this one, the means 5 and 6. So, we can write this one 2. Okay, we can write this one 2 over 6 is equals to 5 over 15. So, simply copy 2 and 15, then interchange 6 and 5. So, if you multiply this one doing cross multiplication, so once again, let's check this one first. 2 times 15, that is 30, right? Then 5 times 6, that is 30. So 30 is equals to 30. How about this one? Let's, let's try to check. 2 times 15, that is 30. 6 times 5, that's still 30. So you can interchange the means. Or you can interchange the extremes. So copy 15. So 15 becomes now the numerator over. Then copy, copy 5 and 6. Okay, the original equation, 5 and 6. So 5. Then this is 6 over, we interchange the extremes, 2 and 15, this is 2. So if you multiply this one, 15 times 2, that is 30, 6 times 5, that is 30. 
So that's it, class. That's it for the alternation property. Just simply interchange the means and the extremes. All right, number three, the inverse property. If W over X is equals to Y over Z, then X over W is equals to Z over Y. So what have you noticed, class, on the inverse property? That's correct. The numerator and denominator has been interchanged, right? This W becomes the denominator and this X becomes the numerator on the right side of the equal sign. This Y becomes the denominator and the Z becomes the numerator. Let's give an example for you to understand it one. So what if we have 2 over 5 is equal to 10 over 25? How do you write that one in this equation? That's correct. You can write that one 5 over 2. They simply interchange the numerator and denominator is equal to 25 over 10. That's it. That's your answer there. So even if you check, doing the cross multiplication, let's check. 2 times 25, that is 50. 5 times 10, that is 50, right? How about this one? Let's check. 5 times 10, that is 50. 2 times 25, that is 50. So very easy class for the inverse property. Alright, so number 4, addition property. If W over X is equals to Y over Z, then W plus X over X is equals to Y plus Z over Z. So what have you noticed class in number 4? That's correct. The numerator has been added with the same value on the denominator. So W plus the same value of denominator plus X is equals to Y, copy Y. Then plus the same value on the denominator plus Z over Z. So let's give an example. What if we have 2 over 3 is equals to 6 over 9? How will you write this one in addition property? That's correct. That should be 2 plus the value of the denominator 3 over 3 is equals to 6 plus the value of denominator that is 9 plus 9 then copy the denominator over 9 that's it this is the equation there so let's simplify let's let's check if we get the same value when we do the cross multiplication so 2 plus 3 that is 5 over 3 is equals to 6 plus 9 what's the answer that's correct that's 15 over 9 let's do cross multiplication 5 times 9 that is 45 then 3 times 15, that is 45. Therefore, our answer is correct. This is the property, addition property. Alright, so let's proceed to the fifth property. We have the subtraction property. If W over X is equals to Y over Z, then W minus X over X is equals to Y minus Z over Z. So it's actually the same with addition property, but the difference, that is minus. So, copy the numerator, then minus the denominator, then copy the denominator equals, copy the numerator y, then minus the denominator, y minus z, then copy the denominator. Let's give an example. So, what if we have 3 over 4 is equals to 6 over 8? So, how will you write that one in subtraction property? That's correct. That would be 3 minus the denominator 4 copy the denominator 4 equals 6 minus the denominator minus 8 over copy the denominator so simplify this one once again this is, this will be our equation so this is the same with this one now let's simplify let's check if we multiply we do cross multiplication we have the same answer so 3 minus 4 that's negative 1 over 4 is equal to 6 minus 8 that's negative 2 over 8 so let's do the cross multiplication so negative 1 times 8 that's negative 8 is equal to negative 2 times 4 that's negative 8 all right so same answer so therefore this is the correct equation now, last property, sum property. So, very easy, right, for the subtraction property. So, sum property, or we call this one summation property. So, if u over b is equals to w over x is equals to y over z, then u plus w plus y over v plus x plus z is equals to k. So, simply add the numerator, then add the denominators then your answer is k now k is the constant 
So let's give an example for number six. So let me just erase this one. Example number five. So I hope you understand class number five. Same with example number four for the addition property. The difference, it's just subtraction. All right, so example for the last property. So what if we have 2 over 3 is equals to 4 over 6 is equals to 8 over 12. So how will you write the equation? That's correct. Simply add the numerators. 2 plus 4 plus 8 over 3 plus 6 plus 12 equals. So 2 plus 4 plus 8, that is 14. Over 6 plus 3, that is 9, plus 12, that is 21. Can we reduce? Yep, we can divide this one by 7. Divide by 7, so 14 divided by 7, that is 2. 21 divided by 7, that is 3. That's it. Our k is 2 thirds. That's the constant there. Alright, so that's it for the properties of proportion. So, Let's answer. You need to determine what property is the given equation. So that will be the next part of our video. Use the properties of proportion to find the equivalent. If 8 over x is equal to 3 over y, then 8 over 3 is equal to blank over blank. So what have you noticed, class? That's correct. 3 becomes the denominator of 8. So therefore, it's been interchanged, right? The means have been interchanged. So therefore, we can apply the alternation property. So therefore, our answer for this one, this becomes x, then simply copy y. We just simply interchange the means class. This one. Always remember class, in alternation property, we have an example a while ago, we can only interchange the means or the extremes one at a time. So in this scenario, we just simply interchange the means, so simply copy the extremes, 8 and y. That's it, class. This is the answer for number one. And the property, that's the alternation property. Let me just write the property, class. Alternation, and I will just put P. Alternation property. How about number two, class? What have you noticed? X over 6 is equals to Y over 15. Then X plus 6 over 6 is equals to? What would be our answer? That's correct. We can, we can apply this one. Addition property. So, that would be copy y, then plus this denominator 15, then copy denominator. That's it, plus. This is our answer for number 2. Easy, right? For number 2, we call this one addition property. Alright, so this will be addition property. Alright, so number 3, if x over 9 is equal to y over 20, then x over y is equal to blank over blank. So, what have you noticed, class? That's correct. Y becomes the denominator of X. So, therefore, it's been interchanged. Same with number 1. So, therefore, this will be interchanged. This is 9. Then, simply copy 20. Because we can only interchange one at a time. Therefore, the means are been interchanged. Alright. And this is alternation property. So, I will just put P, class, for the property alternation property. Let's give another example class for you to really understand this one. Alright, so number 4 if x plus 3 over 5 is equals to x minus 2 over 6, then 6 quantity x plus 3 is equals to, what's the answer class? That's correct. It's been cross multiplied, right? 6 times this one that would be 6 times quantity x plus 3. Therefore, our answer will be 5 times this one. This will be 5 times x minus 2. Alright, we can distribute this one. So, this will be 6x plus 18 is equals to 5x. 5 times x, that's 5x. 5 times negative 2, that's negative 10. So, either of these two class, this will be acceptable for our equation. And what would be this property class? That's correct. That's cross multiplication property. Okay, cross multiplication property. I will just put P class for the property. We don't have enough space. Cross multiplication property. Alright, so number 5. If 14 over 3 is equals to X over Y, then 17 over 3 is equals to... What's the answer class? What have you noticed for this one? From 14, it becomes 17. 
then copy the denominator. That's correct. We can apply the addition property. So as you can see, this is 14, the numerator plus denominator over denominator, right? 14 plus 3, that is 17 over 3 is equal to, then our equation will be x plus y, then copy y. That's it, guys. 14 plus 3, that is 17. So we can write this one, 17 over 3 is equals to x plus y over y. That's it, our answer for number 5. Alright, so let's try another example, number 6. If 5 over 6 is equals to 10 over 12, then 6 over 5 is equals to... What have you noticed, class? By the way, what property is this one, class? Number 5. That's correct. That is, let me just write the property for number 5, addition property. Alright, I will just write P for property. That is addition property for number 5. For number 6, class, what have you noticed? 5 becomes the denominator, then 6 becomes the numerator. That's correct. That's the inverse property. So, therefore, our answer, we can inverse this one. This 12 becomes the numerator, and this 10 becomes the denominator. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 6. And our property, that's the inverse property. I will just put P, class. We don't have enough space for property inverse property let's give another example class all right so last example let's have seven eight nine so for number seven if 10 over 6 is equals to 20 over 12 then 4 over 6 is equals to blank over blank so what have you noticed class for this one from 10 it becomes 4 then 6 denominator what have you noticed class that's correct. We subtract the numerator from the denominator. We can apply the subtraction property, right? This will be 10. 10, then minus the denominator, then copy the denominator. Then minus 6, that is 4, then copy the denominator. So this will be 20 minus 12 over 12, right? So, are you still with me, class? This one, subtraction property, 10, it becomes 4. Therefore, 10 minus 6, that is 4. Then, copy denominator. So, this will be 20 minus 12 over 12. So, 10 minus 6, that is 4 over 6 is equals to 20 minus 12. What's the answer, class? That's correct. That's 8 over 12. So, our answer will be 8 over 12. So, this will be... 8 over 12. So you can have this equation. Okay, you can have this one. This equation on the upper part. You can have this one or this one. This is just the same class. So our property, that would be subtraction property. Alright, so subtraction property. Let's have number 8. If C over D is equals to 5 over 9, then C over 5 is equals to blank over blank. So what, what happens, class? What have you noticed? This 5 becomes the denominator of C. So therefore, it's been interchanged, right? The means are been interchanged. So we can apply the alternation property. So therefore, this will be, so interchange, this will be D, then simply copy 9. C and 9 could never be interchanged. That would be 1 at the time. So we interchange the means. So simply copy the extremes. So that would be C and 9. Alright. So copy 9 and C. Then interchange D and 5. So it's been interchanged. Alright. So this will be our answer. And this property, that's alternation property. Easy, right? Alright. So number 9. You try this one, class. Number 9. If 2 over 3 is equals to 8 over 12, then 3 over 2 what would be the answer test for this one okay you try number nine and you put your answer in the comment section down below so once again this is teacher mj i hope you learned something new today if you like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe you share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students once again this is teacher mj you have a great day class goodbye for now do not forget to answer number nine Bye bye